visualizing data in a, a graph or a plot is one of the best ways to infer information from the data. On your screen, you see free state wards or that are on your screen, you see the outline of wards in the free state of South Africa. And each of these wards has a variety of information stored within its attribute table that is based on the census data from 2001. To visualize these data, I'm going to use the data plotly plugin. Alternatively, you can also plot within QGIS using a variety of built-in functionality that is accessible in the plots toolbox. I'm going to draw a box plot using the data plotly functionality of the plugin. When you open the plugin, you'll say which plot you want to want to draw, which is the box plot. You'll say which layer you're going to be using the free state wards and what field you're going to be analyzing. For example, here I'm going to analyze the population field. I'm going to create the plot. The box plot is drawn. Now this is for all the wards that you see on your screen. And if you hover over the box plot, it'll give you additional information. For example, it'll give you the median, the third quartile, the first quartile, the minimum. So there's a ward with no population, also a ward with a maximum population, which in this case is almost 40,000. Um, so it gives you a variety of information. You can also group this by any particular field. For example, I can group this by the white percentage of the population. And then the box plot will, of course, group within that. This is what it would look like if you then zoom in on the box plot you'll see individual box plots drawn grouped by the white um, percentage of the various wards you can also draw different types of plots so if you want to draw a bar plot for example i'll leave it on the white percentage of the population versus the total population i'm going to clear my canvas and if I draw this as a new plot, you'll see a bar plot that is drawn that allows you to investigate the white percentage of the population to the total population per ward. Similarly, you can draw other types of plots. For example, I can draw a pie chart. Again, I will just simply leave it on the same fields, clear the, the, plot, the plot canvas so you can create a new plot. And then when you create the plot on this, it will create a pie chart that groups on the various wards. So lots of different segments here. It's representing all the wards in the free state. This particular ward has a very high percentage of white to its population. And if you click on the segments, you'll see that they actually highlight or light up on the screen which allows you to do further analyses. So there's a lot of functionality that you have here. You can also draw a scatter plot. I'll keep the same fields. If you do the scatter plot here, you're drawing the white percentage of the population against the total population across all the wards. You can also, using the, the settings, actually change what you want to show. You can change a plot title, you can change the labels and so forth. But this is the basic functionality of data plotly. You can, of course, also use the built-in functionality, for example, the box plot and the free set wards. I'm going to show, for example, the male population. And I'm going to do group this by the population here. And if I run it, it will come up as a HTML file that you open up. And here is the bar graph that is drawn based on that so here you've got the most extreme one but going back to QGIS you can also draw the bar plots again here I would like to for example now compare the population to the number of people that are over 65 again it will come up as a HTML file
And as you can see here very faintly, these are the graphs that are drawn there. You can also draw a scatter graph. Here it's called vector layer scatter plot. For example, if I'm interested in the females and the ages up to 49, again an HTML file, and you can see here it draws on the scatter plot with a very basic or similar functionality to the Plotly interface. So you can either use the built-in plots or the plugin. The plugin is a little has a little bit more functionality and allows you to, to do a bit more things, but the functionality is already built in in QGIS as well.